In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a new purchase order in a alternative foreign currency. So we go into the navigator, Adnams, procurement, non-stop procurement, and to revise non-stop purchase orders. So the process is very similar to entering a purchase order in Great British Pounds. The only thing we do is that we add a separate currency in. So similar as before, we click the add button, you enter your supplier, search one here, accept it by clicking the green tick, enter where we want the purchase order to be sent to. So if we change the search type to F for facilities, search to the Adnams main office, accept. And then in here is where we enter our currency. So this may be euros or Australian dollars, US dollars, so let's go for euros. So that's all you need to enter. If you wanted to add any details, any text, you can go into this button here, click the text button, and enter any details in here. To save, click the green button. So make sure that you've filled in all the details that you need to in this part here. So once you click down here, the, the top part will grey out so you can't edit any details on there. As you noticed, it's pre-populated these details here. So the base currency that we're using to work out the exchange rate is Great British Pounds. And today's exchange rate is entered here. So as you would with a normal purchase order, you just enter in the rest of your details. So I'm going to search for a preloaded item, green tick to enter it, enter the quantity, enter the request date, and click on the line below. To complete the order, you click the green tick. Here is your order number here. 244. So we exit out of the screen. To send it to the supplier, we enter our order number in this box here. Search. Select it. Right click. Print order. And this is what's going to send it to the supplier. So green tick. And that's all been complete.